All right, everyone, time for the drive and kick. So just like the pass and cut and the backdoor cut, you want to line just at that free throw lane extended and you want to line just over there on the wing. Okay, the whole point of this is to learn how to move when a player is driving with the ball. All right, for now, I'm going to drive straight towards the baseline sideline, that strong hand. Malik's gone here. He's going to catch. He's going to shoot. When Malik shoots, beautiful shot. He's going to get his rebound. He'll be up to this... Uh, to the passing line. I relocate over to the wing. Malik's gonna do the same thing. We're moving with the ball. Catch, shoot. I'll go get my own rebound. Oh, two in a row. I'll get my own rebound. Go straight to the top. The other part of this drill, which I haven't told Malik yet, is when we drive middle, we wanna bring and move with the ball. Okay, right there we're moving with the ball. We're keeping the same distance. If I go middle, Malik is now re relocating that way. One, two, he's gonna shoot. Same thing, I can even help him with the rebound for this one, but mainly the shooter gets the rebound. He goes up here. Now he's going to drive middle. I'm gonna to relocate to the top, and we're always about, oh yeah, missed it. Oh, we're always roughly this distance apart. We're always kind of on a string. We wanna move with each other. If I'm moving, if he's gone middle, and I'm relocating to the corner, that's a really tough hook pass, especially if you're at a junior level. Try and teach your boys, girls, whoever you're teaching, try to teach them to move with the ball, okay? And if you guys can get this down on the driving kick, it can be an absolute nightmare for teams to guard you in a live game situation.